morning. We saw just a little bit of snow during the early morning hours here in the Tulsa area. Again, 0.1 inches of snowfall officially out the Tulsa International Airport. A little bit higher amounts as you move toward the Arkansas line. Another thing that we've seen so far this month has been plenty of rainfall. So far for January, 3.78 inches of rain. That is 2.79 inches above the average through today. You notice that average is right around an inch of rain. Now, January is typically our driest month of the year. Now, last year at this time in January, we had only picked up a quarter of an inch. So again, a very wet start to 2019. In fact, as we take a look at this month of 2019 in January, 3.78 inches. It is so far the sixth wettest January on on record, you have to go all the way back to January 1949, the last time that we saw a January that was this wet. We still have about 10 days left here in the month, and we have additional chances for rainfall coming up here over the next several days. So again, a very wet start to 2019. We're seeing a beautiful sunset out there. Our Buffalo Run Casino Renaissance Hotel cameras are looking off to the west. We have seen a few breaks in the clouds after the morning clouds, a few flurries around. A little bit more in the way of some sunshine during the late afternoon, especially west of Tulsa. If you live east of Tulsa, you're still seeing some clouds at this time, and we expect these clouds to slowly start to thin out as we move through the evening and overnight hours. Here's another look at a Brookside cam looking back towards downtown Tulsa. And again, we are seeing plenty of breaks, and you notice that sun there shining on the downtown buildings. But even with that late day sunshine not helping us out to warm up at all, 28 degrees right now. That's cold enough. You throw that north wind, though, currently at 15 miles per hour in, and it drops our wind chills into the teens in most areas. Here's a look at your current temperatures 29 in Muskogee and Stigler 27 in Pryor and Grove 26 Bartlesville 27 degrees up around the Grand Lake area and then you throw that north wind and this is really what you have to plan for now. I do expect winds to slowly drop off this evening but as temperatures drop off we're going to keep wind chills generally in the teens through the evening hours. Feels like 17 right now in Tulsa 11 in Tahlequah 13 the current wind chill in Grove feels like 17 out in Stillwater. This cold air has moved all the way down to the Gulf Coast. You can see how it's carved out basically across the central third of the country. We're seeing the cold air all the way down to the Gulf. Houston only at 51 degrees while it's 7 right now in Bismarck, North Dakota and wind chills some 15, 20 below zero right now in the northern plains. The warm weather's been shifted off to the east where we have had some severe weather today in sections of Alabama and the warm weather as you'd expect down the desert southwest in the lower 70s as we move into the early evening hours. So on future track, the back edge of the cloudiness here in far eastern Oklahoma, it'll continue to work away as we move through the overnight. We'll keep the north winds going up to around 10 miles per hour. Still a little breezy from time to time this evening, but the general trend will be for them to drop off through the overnight, mainly clear skies, so a clear skies and relatively lighter winds. We're going to see temperatures drop into the teens. These are actual temperatures tomorrow morning down to around 12 in the Bartlesville area, about 14 in Pryor, 15 in Muskogee, also in Tahlequah. Winds will be relatively light, only at about 5 to 10 miles per hour, but it won't take much to drop those wind chills into the single digits by morning. In fact, around 8, the wind chill tomorrow morning in Grove, 10 in Pryor and Tahlequah around 11 or so here in Tulsa, so a very cold start tomorrow morning, but with plenty of sunshine tomorrow afternoon, we do expect the temperatures to jump nicely as we'll see mostly sunny skies on our future track. And again, with that sunshine, it's going to allow our temperatures to warm into the 40s tomorrow. Still below average, but running about 15 degrees warmer than where we've been this afternoon. We'll jump quickly into the 50s on Monday. A little bit cooler on Tuesday. A slight chance of a few showers, especially during the morning hours. And we'll cool things back off again Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with highs only in the 40s. So it's amazing, Corey. We're talking about how cold it is right now. And we're talking about mid-50s and gusty south winds coming in on Monday. A big change over a couple of days. Always. Always Seems changes. Seems like it's always a adjust. Yeah, always, <laughs> always that around here in January. It's a big transition month for us. All right, thanks, Dad. All right. Well, Vance is